Cheat 3 here. Today I'm going to show you how to build the little Picasso. This puzzle box is part of an effort I've made to try to find the smallest possible puzzle box made out of Legos that is the least bit satisfying. And I think that it is a little bit satisfying. Uh, it's pretty easy to build. For the most part, it's built out of standard Legos. So let's get building. So let's start by building a couple of keys. Uh, I'm gonna use a one by four plate with two studs. So it's smooth in the middle two, and it's got studs on the outers. And I'm gonna place a little tile and a little plate on there, and then I'm gonna place a red tile on top of the plate. Now the color of this tile is important because it can disguise or draw attention to the most uh, important secret in this puzzle box, uh, depending by the color contrast. So you can choose similar colors to what's underneath it, like gray, and it will disguise it. Or you can put bright green and it'll really pop and show. Now I'm gonna build another key here. And you see I've put a little corner plate, uh, a corner tile in here. Um, and I've sandwiched that between a couple of plates. Uh, and that is uh, gonna give us a little arm sticking out. And I've just kind of put tiles on top all the way up. So a, sort of a stair step of tiles. Um, the one on the end is round and that just helps it not get stuck as it moves. Um, so here's our two little moving keys that reside inside the box. We'll bring those back later. Uh, the puzzle box uh, sits on a six by six plate. Uh, so you could build a six by six plate if you want, just make sure that you sort of put the seam across these inner plates that we're putting on. Um, and then uh, I'll point out some of the tiles and plates that we're putting on here. So we've got a, a sort of a three by four tile in the middle that I've made out of a one by four and a two by four. And then I've just placed a little red tile and a gray tile here and here. Um, and then we'll just build out the rest with plates. Now you can use uh, longer plates if you want to substitute those in, that's fine. Uh, it may actually make it a little bit stronger, but um, it ch kind of changes the color of the exterior uh, from what I wanted it to be. Okay, so now I'm gonna place a one by four white plate with studs and a one by two tile. And this one by two tile is a slider because it doesn't have an under tube, so it can slide on a stud. Uh, and notice that I like to have the one pointing out so that it's clearly a hundred bucks when it sort of emerges from the box. And then I'll just surround the uh, exterior here with additional plates. Um, and I'll put another plate on this interior spot that has studs. You can see these little sort of holes where the uh, one by one tiles are sitting. Okay, let's continue to sort of build out. I'm gonna put a one by two plate sort of covering our money piece. Again, you can use one by sixes and one by fours here if you want. Um, that's a fine substitution to make. Here I'm placing a one by one tile, a smooth tile with a one by three plate um, so that that can support another slider movement. And I'm gonna place another of these one by four uh, plates with two studs. Uh, this, this one you might be able to get away with not using that. You could probably build out, um, uh, use tiles and plates here instead, but a one by four is a lot stronger. Uh, and I've placed another little red tile here next to our money piece. Again, one's out. Okay, well let's place another plate here. And there's gonna be a money tile that just sort of hangs over the edge, cantilevered a little bit here. It will be supported eventually by one of the keys. All right, another tile. Oh, one's out. And a one or a two by two by three plate 
and a one by three plate here. Then we'll use a corner plate and you can see where that one by four uh, with the two studs is giving us a little lip there. Uh, that's fine. Uh, if the piece falls in while you're pushing on it, that, just correct it, make it flush. Okay, we're gonna remove this one money piece here and put our key in. And we're gonna put the tall end away from the money. So the money piece should be able to rest on this, this first key. And now the second key is gonna come and sit on top of the first key. Just pop it in right there. So this is the main mechanism uh, of the box. Now let's come in and start to complete it. Uh, we're gonna use a uh, one by six plate here, um, one or a two by three plate and a two by four plate. Now I'm gonna leave this other a little bit lower uh, so that there's sort of two levels in the box and that kind of gives it this artistic Picasso sort of feel that, uh, that I'm looking for. Uh, we're going to place a tile with center stud here and these center studs are going to hold the tool for uh, for the box. Um, something you may not know is that the center studs uh, with one offset still can hold a tile. It still happens to sort of line up where, uh, where the tile uh, fits caddy corner here. And so we're going to say, oh, there, there's our sort of cubist Picasso look. If you like this video, uh, make sure to subscribe or hit the like button. 